Uh, we are going to the section of questions. Muna yanzaka mwishi gafani ntambo yoi. All that you have had on yesterday at the field and here and any other time or whatever you want to know about today is the time. One and local chizamu moreshi do mean tamboyi in Canada when he to nani ko ne mansani gameda mu ko abunda aka koyas dia ananda safe ko abunda aka koyas afili ko Canada tambaya a chicken litafi me sarki ko oni tambaya de shafi Christanchi duke in Canada she won and zarafi zamu moreshi do mean with tamboyi the am soshi. So uh, can I see your hand if you have a question to ask? But in Gahana and what under the Tambaya of Mosna Sosuishi, Kaye Tambayan Kamuji. My name is Jonathan J. Age. Sunana Jonathan J. Age. Uh, in fact, when the preacher was uh, greasing his preachers somewhere. I became so weak. I didn't look at him. I was in a was in a one you worry. You know, chicken magana sena jina we so say a chicken. This thing is not on an as of this very period. Whether you are wicked, whether you are social, whether you are a pastor or anything, fights comes to you right inside your house. I am saying at this particular period, whether you like it or not, fights comes to meet you in your house. Okay, okay. And my question is this. If we will disengage ourselves from all things, as was emphasized by a pastor, maybe I have a very good stick that I ask a pastor to pray on it, and he pray on that stick, and it is at the corner of my room. So when I hear anything outside, I carry this uh, stick out to defend myself with. Is that stick a sham? Or is, the Lord. Is, or is preferably we live free without anything so that we face the fight? Whether we, we, we die, that is what, because most of us are not sure whether they die, they will have peace with God. But it is better you defend yourself here. Romans chapter 7, or chapter 8. Romans chapter 8 verse 5 Romans chapter 8 verse 5 For verse 5 to verse 7 For they that I after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is dead but to be spiritually minded is life and peace because the carnal mind is enmity against God for it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be I da saanda muke zaman hali mutuntaka Muguar shawa wada fadakarwar sharia take sa ayi ita take aiki agababunmu tauri hadasa mutua ama ayenzu mu yen yentu daka sharia mumutu daka abinda da ya tauri mu kenan harmona iya botawa alla da sabon rai da ruhu but that so vin ru kaido diva. Now you understand from this scripture two kinds of people the carnal person, person in the flesh and the spiritual man. I wonder Aya the Mua Garanta Mumfa in Shimuta and you could be what and the eye watch kinjiki that more than they watch in Ruhu. This the the spiritual man understands spiritual laws and can be subject to the commandments of God. While the carnal man, sinful man, 
does not understand spiritual laws and cannot be subject to it. Wanda yake za unaye a halin mutuntaka da ba zai fahimci ayyukan ruhu ba zai da rayu a karkacin ayyukan mutuntaka. This thing we are teaching is to the spiritual man. Abinda muke koya suwa muna kwarwa masu aikin a ruhu ne. The covenant of God unto protection is to the spiritual man. And God has no covenant of protection to the sinful man. Allah bai da saro ga wanda yake zaune a jikin mutuntaka. And so he must also, he must find the way of defending himself. Zai iya neman hanyoyin da zai tsare kansa ba Allah ba. There are two kinds of students. Mutane guda biyu ne. Two kinds of students in the school. Ya makaranta guda biyu ne a makaranta. One has a rich father. Wani yana da uba mai arziki and does not labor for his school fees. Baya wahala da mu kudi makarantan sa ba. One has a very poor father. Wani yana da baba mai tal matalau shine sosai who cannot pay school fees. Wanda bai ya biya su kudi makaranta ba. He labors for his school fees. Yana wahala da mu kudi makarantan sa. So you cannot give the instruction to the two persons. When you go home, go and give attention to reading. Don't go and close yourself for three weeks. Don't come out until the holiday is over. If that other one does so, he won't have money to pay for his school fees. He must look for what to do because when school resumes, he's going to pay his school fees. But the other one has the rich father who has already prepared for his school fees since. In fact, the school fees are available in the bank. The instruction, therefore, is not to the two people. Wannan gargadi ba zai zama dukkan ma'ana mutanen guda biyu daya ba. What we have said is to Christians. Abinda muka fada shine masu bin Yesu al-Masihu. True Christians. Christian na gaskiya who believe in the promises of God. Waɗanda sun gaskanta da alkawarin da Allah ya yi. As our brother there said that uh, what a man comes to his house, God says no evil shall come near your dwelling place. Kamar yadda shi dan wanmu ya fada wani abin mugu ya zo gidansa Allah ya ce ba wani abin mugun da zai shiga gidan mai mai ba to the sinner the same god is saying evil shall surround you ba ga mai zunubi ba mugaye mutane za su kewaye shi the one that god says no evil shall come near your dwelling place doesn't need a gun in that house but the one that god has said evil shall surround you will he not get a gun wanda Allah ya ce masa mugun abu ba zai zo gidan ka ba baya bukatan bindiga and so let him that has ears understand if you don't understand may God make you understand wanda yake da ku ne ya ji idan ba ka ji ba ubangiji Allah ya sa ka ji is that okay ya isa ko ko ne is okay sunana reverend ayuba na kwado retired yes my name is reverend ayuba na kwado retired this is superintendent ina so naji dadi ko so wansa sosai i'm very happy with your teaching ina son tambaya da mai sali abinda zan ga masa i want to ask you something i want to tell you akwai wani mutum her say man baya noma dozen farm abinda yana kama wa yana kama kifi ne his business is a fishery ya tafi koki ya kama kifi yana ci da kifi sai ya tafi koki yau he went to the fish to the river to fish when he fished the fish say kifi ha tambaye shi don me kana son ka kara samu the fish asked him why do you want to destroy all of us ya se baye da baye da abin shi he said he has nothing to eat da shi ne yake cin abin shi is the fish i'm eating ya ce yau ka koma gida za ka so ka samu abin shi da yawa the fish tell him to go back to his house he will see fish if eat food da ya koma gida when he went home ya samu abin shi da yawa he meets a lot of food Sai ya sake ya bari gida kuma ya koma koki kuma he leave the house the food in the house and went back to the river ya ce kifi ya tambaye shi me kana son kuma the fish asked him what do you want again ya ce yana so eh uh, ya saman sarki he said he wants to be a king ya ce ya koma gida na baka the fish tell him that he should go back home he has given him that key the akabashi when he was given the key sarkin din ya samu mutane a gidansa duka komai duka ya samu kudi da yawa 
Because many people in his house, he got a lot of money in his house. Mwana mutu mnang, abinda kifi ya bashi nang, beda mude chiba, ya kuma kuma ze kama kifi. This thing that fish give, gave him, he has not bothered with that, those things. He went back to go to the river to catch the fish. Kifi ya tambechi menene teki sukuma. The fish asked for that time, what do you want again? Yena suye saman kama Allah. He want to be like God. The fish looked at him and said, You cannot be like God. If this thing that they teach us here is good, if man, you give him this, he has agreed. He received. Again, ya yeta. He agree. Ya karaba. He received. Say yeche yena so yesaman Allah. He said he wants to become like God. Na alaike. Where is God? Kata ina so kambechi na alaike. He wants to ask you where is God. Uh, now he has spoken in Proverbs. Kai magana achikin kai magana. No, give him back the microphone. Give him back the microphone. He himself said it is in Proverbs. And when Samson gave a riddle, the interpretation rested only on Samson. So the interpretation of what he said rests on him. I want to tell you. To build a big church. They collected that church from us. To build another one. They collected it back again from us. This rat today is a very small rat. The big rat found a very small, big hole and, and the small rat came out in the, under it. In the, rat. the big rat went again. He spoiled it. He wants to build this, want to prepare this. Renew, renovate this room to become our own. We will send away this small rat to go away from us. So that it become our room. This is the explanation. Uh, up to now, he is still speaking in Proverbs. Because rat is not a human being. Now go I thank you. I thank you. I want you. If you are a Christian. I agree with you. The thing you have taught us here. The Atapa Mashiko. This Holy Bible. Nobody will remove us from it. With this Bible, we were taught, and it is with it we preach the gospel. We preach, and people have received the gospel. <laughs> Nobody will come like this moral to take the Bible away from us. Now, uh, since he cannot come out of Proverbs, let's try to answer him in darkness. In the book of Romans, Chapter 15, verse 4. 
Romans chapter 15 Romans asura goma shabiar ayahudu verse 4 ayahudu for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope ai duk abinda aka rubuta tun da an rubuta shine domi akoya mana domi mu mu dore a cikin a cikin sa a cikin sa zuciyar nan tamu ta wurin hakuri da ta'aziyar da litafin suke yi mana all the things that are written for us in scripture abubuwan da suka aka rubuta mana a cikin litafin mai sarki they are written for our blessing an rubuta su saboda albarkun mu so that through studying them and live patterning our life by them we can have the salvation of the lord mun bincike ta mun rayuwa saboda idan za mu samu albarkun allah amen amen god has given us examples in scripture to follow allah ya ba mu masalai a cikin litafin mai sarki domin mu bi and we should follow the scripture for the examples of scripture to have the righteousness god gave other people zamu bi wannan misalai da mu zama da adalci saboda mu zama misalai ga wadansu mutane in the book of genesis a cikin farawa chapter 26 sura 26 genesis farawa chapter 26 verse 1 verse 1 aya 12 then isaac sought in that land and received in the same year an hundredfold and the lord blessed him bless the lord aya goma sha bi ta ce ishaku ya ga yayi shuki a wancan kasar a shekarar nan kwa ya girbe shi kakken amfani ubangiji ya sa masa albarka verse 13 and the man was great and went forward and grew until he became very great har mutumin ya azurta ya yi ta habaka har ya zama a tajiri for he had possession of flocks and possession of herds and great store of servants and the philistines envied him da yake ya yi ta azurta da garken tumaki da na shanu da na iyali masu yawa filistiyawa suka yi suka ji kishin sa for all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham his father the philistines had stopped them and filled them with earth saboda haka filistiyawa don kishi sai suka ci ciki rijoyin rijoyi da kasa wadanda barorin mahaifin sa Ibrahim suka haka tun Ibrahim yana da rai and abimelech said unto isaac go from us for thou art much great mightier than we abimelech wa yace wa ishaku fita daga cikin mu gama ka fi karfin mu and isaac departed then and pitched his tent in the in the valley of gera and dwelt there don haka ishaku ya bar wurin ya yi zango cikin kwarin era yayi zaman sa a can and isaac digged again the wells of water which they had digged in the days of abraham his father for the philistines had stopped them after the date of abraham and he called their names after the names by which his father had called them sai ishaku ya sake haka rijiyoyi wadanda da aka haka a zamanin ibrahim mai fensa kama filistiyawa sun tato shi su bayan rasuwar ibrahim ishaku kuma ya sa wa rijiyoyin sunaye da mahaifinsa ya sa musu and isaac servants digged in the valley and found there a well a well of springing water and the hot men of gera did strive with isaac's head men saying the water is ours and he called the name of the well esek because the strife with him amma san da barori ishaku suka haka rijiya a kwarin sai suka tar da idon ruwa makiyayen gera kuwa suka yi fada da makiyayen ishaku suna cewa ruwan namu ne 
saboda haka Ishaku ya sa wa rijiyar sunar Esek domin sun yi jayaya a kanta and he digged another well and straw for that also and he called the name of it Sitna sai suka haka wata rijiya suka yi jayaya a kanta wannan kuma ya sa mata suna Sitna and he removed from thence and digged another well and for that they strove not and he called the name of it Rehob Rehobot and he said for now the Lord had made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land sai ya za ku da daga nan ya haka wata rijiya kuma amma ba su yi jayaya akan wannan ba don haka ya sa mata suna Rehobot yana cewa gama yanzu ubangiji ya yawalta mana zamu hayafa a kasar we learn from here that the servant of god must not strive mun koya a wannan aya bayan allah bai zai shigaba da gogurma ya ba he dizzy dicked a well the philistines came and claimed the well strove with them he levered for them Ishaku ya haka rijiya sai filisawa suka zo suka je ya da jishi kwashe wannan rijiyan he went it's not easy to dig a well in a stony place he went again and dig somewhere the philistines came there also and said no this is our land this is ours he lived he lived for them but this but saki a tuna rijiya kasa kasa she din nan ba amma ya saki za ku da kuma ya je gina wani wuri kuma sai filisawa suka zo suka she ai wannan kasar mu ne suka ji saki je ya da shi and the and he and the rat of the philistine must have been a smaller rat than the one our father was talking of but they left it for that rat then they went to a place and dig the third well the philistine didn't come there they say oh Say yes he ah now yenzu see what he said dia bin da fada when they went to the third place and digged da suka she wuri na uku suka tone haka rijiya for now the lord had made room for us yenzu ubangiji allah ya ba mu habaka da mu the lord allowed us to be cheated number 1 allah ubangiji zai da su ce mu number na daya is because he himself was not willing for us to be there domin bai yi marmari da mu kasance a wancan guri ba he we moved out he still felt that we had not gone far enough away from the fire idan mun zagu da daga wancan guri kuma zai gane kaman ba mai kusa mu zauna wurin ba so he saw that we were not yet far away from the philistines as he wanted he allowed the philistines to strive there and we left the place yana ya da ma filisawa domin su yi jaya da mu saboda bai ya da wancan gurin mu zauna wurin ba and we went far again idan mun ji da nisa har yanzu away from the philistines sai nisa daga wurin filisawa then we dug a well mun tona wata rijiya kuma wurin the philistines didn't come there filisawa ba za su zo wurin ba god did not allow them to come there allah bai ya da musu zo kusa da mu kuma ba enough is enough ya isa ya isa you will not suffer forever is this tabaki wahala araba da god will give you rest ubangiji zai ba mu nasara zai ba mu hutawa now he said now the lord had made room for us sai yace yanzu ubangiji yayi mana dakuna domin mu and we shall be fruitful we have left the philistines far enough for us to be fruitful zamu hayafa zamu ya hayafa domin yanzu mun bar filistawa da nesa he refused us to be in one and in two we were too close to the philistines bai yadda mana mu zauna anna daya da na biyu kursa da filistawa ba don muna kusa da su by reason of the fruitfulness we shall a multiplication of our lives we shall mingle with the philistines and he doesn't want it idan mun hayafa mun hayafa mun yawa zamu hadu mu we have gone far away from the philistines the lord says now rest here this is your own
No rat will reach that side. The earth belongs to the Lord and the fullness thereof. The portion he has given to you, rat will not come there. So, follow this example. If they strive with you in this building, leave it. I'm talking to you as a church. If it's an individual in the world, it's different. I cannot, I'm not saying so. But I'm talking to you because the name of the Lord is upon you. And this may apply to you in case the battle is family battle. That your brethren are struggling with you over a portion of life. You say, No, my father gave me this. No, you will not. No, my brother, leave that place. You may end up dying for land. Your life is better than all the lands in the world. Ranka, Yafi, Abindege, Ashkin, Dunia. Move the earth is the Lord's and the fullness there. Go and buy land somewhere else. You will still live in this world and be in peace. And if it is between church and church, leave it for that church. The Lord will give you land and give you money to build a church. That he will fill with his glory. Do you know that there are church buildings that even the very blocks are crying against the worshippers? The very beam of the church is crying against the worshippers. Because of treachery and because of fraudulent actions of the of the of the worshippers. Why should you struggle for such a church? Move. Go and get your own. Do you know what is buried in that church? Do you know where the Lord is removing you from that church? So far, have you not understood why God is separating Judah from Israel? that the Lord come to you and considers a portion of you to be Judas and is giving you attention to separate you from Israel departure, departure go away from the midst of her he clean the bear the vessels of the Lord. Please take example from scripture. Jesus went to the gatherings. And even delivered a madman. The people came and said, No, we don't want you here. Could not Jesus have rebuked them and all of them become blind? Because it's the owner of the world. But he left the place. Because they said they don't want him there. He left and went to another place. The servant of the Lord must not strive. But be gentle unto all men. Leave vengeance unto me, I will avenge. That is what the Lord says. And serve the Lord in peace. For we brought, we brought nothing into this world, we shall carry nothing out. How is that churches have not taken over, Boko Haram have broken them to pieces? The religious wars have broken churches into pieces. What God is looking for is not building. 
a people giving themselves to righteousness and holiness. Whether they worship on the mountain or worship under a tree worship in a broken house what matters is righteousness and holiness the Lord will give you a house in Jesus name yes. thank you so much sir the United Methodist Church is really in a very tough time now. We are very well at home with your teaching, sir. And we are happy that we can be encouraged. But how do you put these teachings? For a long time, the righteous man has dwelled in this place. Has how do you put the righteous who seeks peace in the light of scriptures uh, scriptures like the kingdom of God suffered violence is only the courageous that take it by force one day after the show scriptures like that one day at a mulking Allah yana show a show hala see the master daki what does occur be the coffee there are other scriptures that Jesus spoke directly to his disciples I go on to the second time I say key the yes yeah I'm gonna Jesus said to his disciples one time Look, I have not come for peace If you don't have a, uh, a, a sword Sell your clock and buy one I think this is touching on the struggle that this father is struggling with and not only that, the question that the first speaker had. Because he is right in his home. He has practiced peace. He has run away from, um, uh, from violence. He has taught his children peace. But violence is coming after him, even into his bedroom. For instance, the Fulani has men. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, can you, Zaka, in you the mind of a righteous man that seeks to dwell in peace and move forward, not to stay in one place Amen. and preserve what he has. The greatest victory the righteous man should win is the victory of serving his soul and keeping himself in the holiness of Christ. But the, the Bible says, let the word of God dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Since the day of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence. What is the kingdom of God? It is the realm of righteousness, I told you. To get righteousness and holiness and never commit sin is not a gentle matter. 
And Jesus also exemplified it, as you have said, I've not come for peace, I have brought salt to the world. But of course, he said, Peace I give unto you. My peace give I unto you. But where it comes between you and the world, for matters of righteousness, don't be seeking compromise. In a house, a house shall be divided against each other. A man shall be divided against his wife. Parents are divided against their children. This is because cause of righteousness and not material possession. It is that the parents who are already religiously inclined as Muslims will not allow their children to serve Jesus. And they will want to do even to kill their children because Harmasu. of Jesus. And as a result, the children should not compromise but be able to resist with all resistance so he can get the kingdom of God, the king of the kingdom to be his Lord, who is Jesus. A, ma a woman who is married the second wife to a man knows that she is a harlot in that man's house. But to get out of that house is not easy. The man will not allow it. Jesus said, I am not asking that you must follow it in peace, but in violence. Get out of that house. Whatever the man will do, even if he tells you he's going to die, let him go and die. If he takes you to court, go to court, take you to police station, go to police station. Make sure you fight through and deliver yourself from the bondage of Satan. Yes, you know, she was here. My turn number that you have to do with us. I'm a equal number. Yes, you know, she got this. She was what a number to an exact year. Kaira, if that don't look at you, want to get out of the house. If you are the simple type, you cannot make it. One of uh, one of my brothers was telling me a story. In Jalingo here, Jalingo. The, his director, uh, I think in the audit department also, now told them to go for audit because some uh, over local government salaries. Some are paying trees and stones in the local government. Let them go and, uh, and check up all these things. They went and did their auditing and discovered great excess of money. They when they came back to return this money to the government because they went on errand, they all gathered together and said, Let us share. Uh, we will give this one to director. You, you are only 700,000. You will give us. Like ah, the government sent us to locate thieves. We located thieves and became senior thieves. Um, they said, no, you know, you know, if we don't do the, why do we get our own? He said, I can't join that. I can't join that. Great pressure was raised on him. He refused. The director now called him. Take this money. I will not take. Take this money. Sir, I will not take. Please, take this money. Is it an easy battle? Since the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of righteousness suffers attack. This is the director. One director. He can see it on him and terminate him. But he said no. The director said, "Do you want me to die?" 
Say the rector, yes, can I so ni mutune? I don't want you to die, but I will not take this money. Yes, I can't partake of this. That's the, that's the interpretation of what Jesus is saying. Would they be laughing with him and playing with him in that office? Because they're living in fear, he may report it. Would they, would they speak well of him? He said, Don't think I came for peace in the office. Yes, yes, you'll be playing compromise with people, with sinners there. I have come to separate a director with his worker. That a man's fall, a man's enemy shall be day of his own house. It's for righteousness. Daniel for righteousness went to the den of the lions. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego for righteousness went to the fire of Nebuchadnezzar. Has God told you, except you claim that house, you will not go to heaven? Has God told anyone, any man of God, any pastor, that if that house is not claimed, you are a sinner? If God tells you so, then go ahead. But if God has not told you so, as his word has never said so, forfeit it for righteousness sake. The king of Judah was telling the prophet the Lord saying, you say we should not use the army from Israel. But we have paid them already 100, time, 100 talents of silver. He hired soldiers from Samaria to fight with him uh, against his enemies in Judah. They charged him 100 talents of silver. Samaria, although Israelites, had backslidden and are serving idols. The prophet came to this. The Lord sent the prophet to him said, Tell the king of Judah. Don't allow the soldiers of Samaria to fight with you against your enemies. If you do, you will not succeed. He said, but I have given them 100 talents of silver. How can I recover it? He said, the Lord will give you much more than that. Go and do righteousness. The Lord will give you much more than that. The, the widow of Zarephath said, I have only a cruise of oil and a little flour to bake the last cake and eat with my son that we will die. He said, Go and beg for me first. Thus says the Lord, The cruise of oil shall not finish. The flower shall not finish until I send abundance to Israel. Until I send abundance to the earth. It may look difficult, but go and do it and see, test and see that the Lord is good. There's no one to them that trust in Him. Yes, the next person. Amen. Uh, my name is Matthias B. Voyamba. Gunduma Danjasenri is in local government. Gunduma Danjasenri district is in local government. I have two questions. My first question is on the teachers are teaching us, you and your team. Dear ones, who are the ones who are the ones who are the ones who are the 
Hariso Biu Yashi Chi Daga Dama Daga Diva Life Yazu Akungi Ana Yanzu Yana Chingaba Sauram Bazu Gabadeta Kansu Purpaba Inde Yada Abaya Namana Domi Mugani Inda Suki Da Dakuma Inda Suki Yanzu Some of us come late yesterday only one person among you introduced his, himself fully to us. All of us, you have never introduced yourself to us. Can you please introduce yourself so that we can know you proper and understand you proper? My second question. The time I Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Masifa ya so ya tachi sakanin Sakanin sa dadamu wansa lutu Se ya shi Baya so mwana Baya so mwana ya faru sakanin sa dadamu wansa Ya se ya wanguli Ya che gagebe na Gagebe na kathabatea Katabia wuli ndo ni mahuta Kaima kahuta kata sakanin mwenye chika se peyang ya nufa ya duba ulinda akwa iduke ya ya tri chikuma ya nufa wanigeve te ya tabi le tabi ya na kwa ya mana wana uliche wa chini ya deli chini pa ya so wune masifa kwa wune abu ya ya taji tukuna su yi wune abu kwa masu zauna inda Daya nang ya saki ya kum ya kuma daga wulinda ya zaba nang ya zo ya tabi wulinda ibrahim ya tabi nang ya chi kuma zi chika wulinda meze faru biya wuling kama yende kafa da akwe suwa mata nang guda biu suka yi jaya ya domi tunda wana nta dene ya lo nda ta kashi se yana so ya kwa jina wuli Se ni adeliti na ya chi Araba ya rodomi ya goda bangasikia suko ya azazi De ya gani megasikia ya chi abata Da wana ya bita Domi ya kachi ya rodomi ya gida mkukuma Ya gida mata na mkuma da meyafaru Tambia na wala Well, there are two stories combined This righteous man Ibrahim Was very righteous the problem was about to arrive between him and his brother, Lord. Abraham took him outside and said, Okay, see the land. Will you take this side? I take this side. Or you take this side? I take this side. The Lord agreed to take the other side and he followed the third side. The way and trouble was about happening. He said, If the Lord would have come to take that land of Abraham, his brother, what would have happened? between Lord and Abraham. Then you made an example of uh, these harlots whom one kill his child and one and take his heart and say, this is my child, this is my child. The trouble arose between, between them and the case was ended up in the palace of Solomon. And the other one said, kill the child, kill the child. And the other one said, don't kill the child. This is my question. If the, the, after Solomon has settled the case and given the child to the original owner, suppose this fraudulent woman goes to her house again and kill that child, what would have happened? Is that not the question? I'm very sorry. Okay. Uh, yes, well, just as he said, we came later and it was just time for preaching. We went into preaching. How can I come here to go for the one who is in the Baya, the moon, the Baya, the Baya, the Baya, the Baya, the Baya, the Baya? It's not strange because the Bible does not, did not describe Elijah where he, he was from. He just started by saying, and Elijah the teach, but came and met Ahab and said, by my word, there shall be no rain upon the earth for three years. He didn't introduce from where are you coming from? Which direction? You just came up and said Elijah the Tishbite. 
is written in the Bible. Amen. The Bible says that Elisha was in the field of Shekara. So, when I was in Throughout this, this history of Elijah, no introduction. But just as you see the works of Elijah, you know that God was with him. Now, let me say something. Some may not understand, but some understand. The distance from the earth to the sun is how much? Ninety-three million miles. Million What will happen if the sun descends to ninety million miles? What would have, what will, can happen to the earth? Yes. The earth will be burnt up and there will be no living thing on the earth. Yes. 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 Full of anger wants to cross over to the land. Yes. 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 But when it comes, the power ends and it goes back. Why is it so? What do you think is the reason? Yes, somebody. The Lord has decreed its boundary. The Lord commanded it to be so. The ocean cannot break the boundary of the Lord. Although if it had broken open, there would have been terrible things. What will happen if the mountains of sin got broken and became water flowing down. What will happen to the people here? What will happen? Everybody will be wiped away. What will happen if the if Lord had come back to be struggling with Abraham on his own land after he had gone away? Lord, yes, I could do me a car be a binda feeling of Yansa Ibrahim. After Abraham had shown an act of humility, act of love, looking for peace. Bayanda Ibrahim, ya, ya kaskanta de kanshi, a shigin, shigin kaskanshi, and kai, ya kaunashi, no, the baya sung fada, baya sung fada, baya sung, and yana sung salama, say ya bashinashi. What it would have happened if Lord came back for a fight? But did it happen? Did Lord come back for a fight? After Abraham settled with him, did he come back for a fight? Did the, uh, the arrogant woman go back to kill the child? I watch over my word to perform it. In a the commandments of God are not empty. There is a power, a being that supervises his commandments. Follow it. You will see that he is in his commandment. Not, they, will not, they will not transgress his word. Do righteousness, you will never fall. Do right, he that walketh righteously walketh surely. One day, I can other see in a tefia hunkily. He that walketh righteousness walketh securely. One day, I can I can other see in a tefia chicken hunkily. Someone as a don't think the negative way to say, you know, so the reason why we are fighting is because they came back. 
do the word of God as I have said, you won't see any negative thing there because God is in his word to perform it. He will give the blessing to those that observe his word. No one shall be ashamed that observes the commandment of God. Yes, another question. Thank you, David Teacher. My name is David David. Yesterday you teach us about rings, wedding rings. In your today's presentation, you say on, on holiness, you say there are two types of holiness. Sanctification. Sanctification. Sarkakewa. Kachi. Then Sarkakewan. What does sanctification? Ubengiji. The Lord. The Lord does sanctify us so that we become a holy person. Then Sarkakewan Kuma. The other holiness. Mikawa. The Kibewa. Is dedication setting apart, yes. You set apart Kamang. You gave an example if somebody built a house or a church, go and, and uh, sanctify that house. So say na to nani inani lefi zobi nan wada idan anzo auri ana dagashi asashi a kam bible. Aye adua asarka keshi asashi wadazi zama alama al kawari sakani na miji na namachi. Why is why is it seen when the the rings are put on the Bible to show the love between the uh, grooms and the bride? That's the first question. Why Not you. Second one. What type of confession will be forgiven by God? Is it publicly or is it the one that one does it secretly? When they tuba. In the book of First Timothy, chapter two, I read from verse eight to ten. Timotheus, Tafari, Sura Bill, from verse eight to ten. Daga Ayatakos I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting, in like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shamefastness and sobriety, not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array, but which become women professing godliness with good words. Saboda haka ko wane wuli ina so maza so yi adua suna daga hana hanua sarka ku Batare da fushi koja ya ba Mata kuma sulika sa Tufafi da suka dashe Da su sabo da kunya Da kamun kai Da ado kizo Ko kaya nzinaria Ko lu utlu Ko tufafi masu sadaba Seide su yi aiki nagari Yeda ya dashe da mata masu Bayana shedar ibadar su I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands. Ina so she ko wana loko shinda maza suke adua sutoka daga hana ensu na sarkaka sama. Hands that don't carry abominable things. Hanu sarkaku hanu wanda be bayi da wani abin albi. Hands that don't carry things that are scripturally condemned. Hanu bayi wanda bayi da uki da da bayi da uki da wani abin da detaf mesereki ya hana ba. Those are holy hands. And not only holy hands, they should also carry holy heart. Hearts that are free from envy, wrath, doubting, and wickedness. 
Babu Kishi, Babu Barna, Babu Gaba Achikiba. And for these whole livings also, women should take care of their bodily clothing and so, dressing. Sabu da zaman sarkaka kuma mata su dubura da jigunan su da kuma bisawan su in like manner also for the holiness also that women adorn themselves in modest clothes apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety sab bisa ga zaman sarki mata za su iya su kebe kansu da kuma kayakin da ya daje da su for the purpose of holiness, they should not adorn themselves with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array for the purpose of holiness. What is the gold? That for the purpose of holiness, women should not adorn, adorn themselves with it. Because it is condemned. God condemns it. In the book of Numbers, chapter 31. We are trying to bring to tell you what is the gold here. Verse 50. Ayat. I'm seeing. We have therefore brought an oblation for the Lord. What every man had gotten of jewels of gold. Now people have gotten jewels of gold. What are these things called? Jewels of gold. What are they? Which the believer is instructed not to dress with them. What, what are these jewels of gold? In that verse uh, 50, Ayat 50, Ayat 50, uh, 50, it says, Can we read verse 50 together? You have the Bible. One, two, go. Brought an oblation for the Lord. What? Every man had gotten of jewels of gold. Number one is what? Chains. Number two? Bracelets. Number three? Rings. Number four? Earrings. Number five? Tablets means necklace. To make an atonement of our souls before the Lord. And Moses and Eliezer, the priest, took the gold of them. This is gold. It, which the New Testament said, don't dress with them. And Moses and Eliza took the gold of them. Even all wrought jewels. Not all gold in the real nature, but wrought fashioned jewels that are meant for putting on in the body. It's having Kidaya number Tata Latin that there I have seen Tafi yace mun kuwa kawo wa ubangiji hadaya daga cikin abubuwa da kowannen mu ya samu kayan ado na zinariya da mudiya mudaye da kowa da kawa ne da yan kunne da duwasu wuya don yi wa kamu kafara a gaban ubangiji can you see kayan ado Meaning, don't dress yourself with this uh, jewelry, which is for fashion, for beauty, for which the people of the world use. And they named them number one is Chen. Number two is bracelets. Number na oku. Abin. Abin sahanu. Okay. Number three is earrings. Number na oku abin kunne yang kunne. Number four is rings. Do as umuya. Number five necklace. Dakuma. Abinguya. 
You get it now. Don't put this in your dressing for holiness. Don't use this thing. Where did they get it from? From their enemies. The worldly people. The Midianites. They use them. For guy, for show up. For you days. don't use it. Your God is your glory. These things are items of pride. They give the the hate that many women give come from them. They vary in prices. You can find the one of. 10 naira in the market, you can find the one of 10,000, you can find the one of 100,000, you can find the one of 1 million, you can find the one of 10 million, and this is a headache causing trouble among people. What are the they came from idol worshippers. They came from people who don't know God but are giving to self, self, self. Don't use them. Not of God. Clearly stated. Hearing, don't use it. Clearly, clearly stated. Bracelet, don't use it. Clearly stated in scripture. Rings, don't use it. Clearly stated. As all we have said. But then, at the time of writing as Paul did, the ring was never used for marriage in the church of God. If it was used for marriage, Paul would have included wedding ring should not be used because it was it was not used. History, history lets us know the use of wedding ring came uh, after about 1,000 years. Around, around the 12th century AD. It came from idolatry. It came from that side into the church. It was not a church practice. Everybody knew that the trousers women are using now came later to the church. Is that not so? The trousers, trousers. Uh -huh, okay. So, now, this ring also came into the church from idolatry. Amen. Amen. In the church, what joins a husband and wife together is the word of God. He that made them from the beginning. Join them together by his word. Not by ring. But later on, through the world, through idolatry, ring entered into the church. Well, as a part, one part of the history says that a philosopher said from this finger, the, it is called, this finger is called the finger of love. That there is a vein that stretches to, from this finger to the heart. So uh, as a result, if you have got a woman that is in your heart, 
put a ring there to show that yes you is of your heart daga baya masu ilimin kimiyya suka bincika suka darshe wannan ya sadin nan akwai kauna a shige kaunan nan kuma ya ya bi ya bi ya bi har ya shiga zuciya idan kana kaunai mace to sai ka kawo zobe ka sa mata na kauna a zobe shine masu ilimin kimiyya suka bayar the bible says beware that people spoil you not through philosophy and the traditions of men are not true christ the tab mai sarki ya koyar mana mu yi hankali da masu kwasuwa na kimiya na kariya za su koyar da ku ilimi na kariya ba ilimi ubangiji ba as of christ he has spoken in his word not of god bisa ga le tab mai sarki na yesu almasihu ya yi magana amma ba na allah ba but the devil wants to contaminate the people of god he named it on marriage he coated a bitter medicine with sweet thing so you can swallow it shi dan yana so ya halakar da iklisiya sai ya bi ta hanya na abu mai dadi domin ya har gurba ta iklisiya shi yasa yana sa magana zobe na ciki now people have laid have been led to disobedience directly against god's word by the subtlety of the devil Shaitan ya yi amfani da mutane domin su yi su yi rashin biyayya ga ga maganar Allah ta gurin wannan hanyar pollution of married people is done by the altar by the very minister of God gurba ta shin ko aurin da ake yi ana yin shi akan bagadi ina ana yin shi kuma bisa wadanda suka yi kuma masu bin ne a and b i with this ring I join you together in the name of Jesus Christ. They join Satan together with everything and baptize it with the name of Jesus. Malan eh malan a da malan ba da malama ba ina hada ku aure a cikin sunan Allah ana hada mata da kayan shaitan. Now you said if this king can be dedicated by prayer I said this is committed unto the Lord. Why shouldn't we if a ring is dedicated in fact it's even put on it put inside the bible because they put it inside the bible and we're under reading now why should it not be considered acceptable by god can god accept that which he has condemned kashe idan an diga an mika an kebe wannan zobe nan da sunan allah ni yasa ba sa a cikin litafin ba kuma idan yasa allah bai yadda da wannan din ba can a human being eat what he has vomited out mutun zai ya ci abin da ya amar da shi only dogs can do that sai kare ne kawai yake yi god cannot sanctify whatever prayer whoever is praying it that which his word has condemned yes with this allah bai sake kebe wa abin da shi ya ya ba da umurin yake kada aikata ba a woman who has married a man can you bring that somebody's wife to the altar and bless her and and, be, and take her she's your wife zaka iya she matan da ta yi aure ka saka dauke ta ka she a saka albarkace ta zama mata i say god has accepted her she allah ya karbe ta kuma he cannot justify what he has condemned allah bai zai da da wannan ba is that okay now thank you nashida yeah this is two questions What's the second question? Oh, okay. Let's uh listen. Please kaya kuligo. What confession do I make? Wana in tuba. Putin zai a cikin jama'a ko a cikin asirance ko ba shi ba? Amen. Amen. Now, yanzu if you sin privately in kai zulbi asirance confess privately kai tuba aboye if you sin publicly in kai zulbi abayene confess publicly kai tuba a cikin jama'a is that okay yeah is that paul was saying to the priest the high priest that sat on the table Do you sit on the table on the seat of the law and you judging me contrary to the law white it wall Bulusi yace ma wani babban babban priest yace yana zaune akan kursiyi na ubangiji amma kuma kana karan sharan dadi ba daidai ba 
the people ask Paul, are you reviling God's high praise? Uh-huh. Then Paul said, oh, I didn't know that he was a high priest. I am sorry. Everybody hear me saying I am sorry. You hear me accusing him publicly. You also hear me publicly saying I am sorry. 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 Kuma kungani ya baini nasi na atuba. Kuma kwa ya fukulisi ya kaya wa jamaa kuma kwa wane. Amen. Amen. Sometimes somebody is known of a kind of particular sin. Wuri luko si mutu yake ya sani zunubi na musama honda ya hii. Even in the church setting. Kwa achikini ikilisia. If he, if he comes to repentance. Inye zoze jentuba. Or maybe he was disciplined. Kwa ambaka hurone. People have known what you have done. Come before the people and tell them you are sorry. It's vital because they will not believe you tomorrow. They have seen what you did. They have heard what you did. You must confess publicly to prepare yourself in their minds. So that when they meet with you, they will, they will not be running away from you. They will know that you have repaired your way. Is that okay? That is why it is important. Where it has your sin is requires public confession, give it a public confession by the administration of the church. Yes. The next person. Please. Praise the Lord. I'm very happy to be among of the people that will going to enjoy this good message. But I want to read. I'll go to read in a scripture. Matthew 24, verse 1 to 14. Mata sura ashirin da hudu aya kuma daya zuwa ashirin da nawa sha hudu sha hudu Matthew chapter 24 verse 1 to 14 uh, Jesus left the temple and was watching away when the disciple come up to him and call him and call his attention and its building. Do you see all the, this thing? He asks. I tell you the truth. No one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciple come to him prophetically. Tell us, they said, when will this happen and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? Jesus answered, wash out that no one deceive you. For many will come in my name, claim I am Christ and will, will de deceive many. You will hear of war and rumor of war, but see it, see to it that you are not alarmed. Such thing must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famine and earthquake in various places. All these are the beginning of birth. This, then you will be handed over to persecute and put to death but you will be hurt by all nations because of me at that time many will turn away from the faith and will betray and hurt each other and many false prophets will appear and deceive many 
people and deceive many people because of the increase of wickedness the love of most will grow cool but who but he who stand firm to the end will be saved and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached into whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come here is my question Okay, sorry. Here is my question. The Bible, what is written in the Bible must fulfill. Everybody had me that we, we must be heads. And be killed and be persecuted. But I always ask myself this question. The killing of headmen and, and, and Boko Haram, is it a sin for a Christian to complain? Because what is written in the Bible must fulfill. So, do you mean because it's written in the Bible that all those things that are happening it is it will it, it, it shall come to pass and if we deny that I think what is written in the Bible is lies so what will we do thank you thank you you know she was our brother is saying, why are we bothering about Boko Haram? Let them kill because the Bible has said they will kill. So if they, if they come to your house to kill you, just come out for them to kill. If they, if they are burning down city, God said they will burn down city. Where are you troubling us? Amen. <laughs> The Lord sent Elijah to tell Ahab that he would die. He will he will cut off his kingdom and kill all his children. The, because of the iniquity of Ahab. Yes, he is going to judge Ahab for the iniquity of Ahab. Now, Ahab had killed Naboth and taken over his vineyard. Ahab in the book of First Kings chapter 21. Amen. I read from verse 17. And the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite saying, Arise, go down to meet Ahab king of Israel, which is in Samaria. Behold, he is in the vineyard of Naboth. Peter, he is gone down to possess it. And thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord, hast thou killed? And hast thou also taken possession? Hast thou 
and thou shalt speak unto him, saying, Thus saith the Lord in the place where dogs licked the blood of Naboth, shall dogs lick thy blood, even thine. Kafada masa ni ubangiji nache kakashe mutum kana kuma kwashe abinda ya malaka. Kafada masa ga abinda nafada awurinda karunuka suka ga lashe jinin nabod ana nekuma karunuka zasu lashe jinin ka. And then Ahab said in verse 20, and Ahab said to Elijah, has thou found me, O my enemy? And he answered, I have found thee. Because thou hast sold thyself to walk evil in the sight of the Lord. Son, the Ahab Yaga Ilia say Yashi Masa Katash Kat Katarshini go Makiena Ilia am say Yashi E Natar Sheka Gama Kabada Kanka Ga Aikata Mugunta Agabano Wangiji. Behold, I will bring evil upon thee and will take away thy posterity. I will cut off from Ahab him that pissed against the wall and him that is shut up and left in Israel. Saboda haka ubangiji yace maka ga shi zan kawo maka masifa in shafe ka in dace maka ko wane da namiji bawa ko da a Israila. Well, we cannot finish reading that but they are all decrees. I will wipe you out. Judgment will clear you, you and your children. All male bones shall be wiped out. I'm going to judge uh, Jezebel. Dogs will lick your blood as they lick the blood of Naboth that you conspired with the Jezebel against. Now, verse, what? verse what? 17. Read on. What an the the Allah Ahab. Saboda ya mugunta a gaban ubangiji and in verse 27 a ayata and it came to pass when Ahab had this words that he rent his clothes and put sackcloth upon his flesh and fasted and lay and lay in sackcloth and went softly da Ahab ya ji wannan magana sai ya ya ke tufafin sa ya sa na makoki ya yi azumi Ya kwanta a smoking makoki ya tashi yana tafiya a hankali I have repented I have ya tuba he was sorry what he did ya she ya tuba abinda ya aikata he looked sorry sai ya ce ya tuba then see what god said do you have been over here for that? Verse 28 and 29 and the word of the lord came to elijah the tishbite saying Seest thou how Ahab humbled himself before me? Because he humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his days, but in his son's days, I will bring the evil upon this house. Ubangiji ya yi magana da Ilya batashi ya she kaga yada Ahab ya kaskantar da kansa agabana da yake ya kaskantar da kansa a gabana ba zan kawo masifar a zamanin sa ba sai a zamanin dan sa ne zan kawo masifar a kan gidan sa amen amen so it tells you how god can be affected his word can be affected by acts of righteousness yadda ubangiji yake aikatawa saboda adarshi na mutum like our brother said, the prophecy has already been given that there shall be wars, there shall be pestilence, there shall be anger, hunger, there shall be all. And Boko Haram is fulfilling what the word of God has said. Uh, why are we bothering so much about it? Although the prophecy has said our prayers will moderate these things. If we, if we pray to God earnestly, He will moderate these things. If we pray to God earnestly, He will moderate these things. 
it will not come with the violence that it is carrying. God will suit it, will moderate them. Again, the Bible says there shall be wars, there shall be pestilence. He didn't mention the name of a city or the name of a family attached to these wars and fans. And if the war is coming against Zing here, and the righteous people in Zing rise up to pray, Oh Lord, we are here, we are preaching your word, we are saving people. Lord, if you allow these people to die, how can they make eternal life? How can they go to heaven? And what about us who are here? The Lord says, If I find ten righteous people in a city, that's also the word of God. It's also prophecy. Mm. If I find ten righteous people in the city, I will, that, I will spare the land for the sake of those ten righteous. Yes. They will not harm the land. They will go to another land. So, what I said, if God spares this, this city, he is not doing unrighteousness because when he prophesied, he didn't attach the name of this city to it. If he drives them here and they go to another city and burn down that city, he's still fulfilling the scripture. But why didn't why did he allow them to burn down that city? They didn't pray to him. There were no righteous people there to pray to him. But and he has decreed that this will happen. So it happened to them. So keep on praying for yourself, for your family, and for the city. Is that okay? I Okay, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Is that the last one? Hallelujah. Uh, the first time I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity. For the first time I want to thank God for giving me this opportunity. I want to thank our speaker for encouraging us this place. It is true that I have been blessed for your uh, teaching. My question is this. Do you think that the people of the Amsa have given Even though you have given answers to the issue of uh, these gold earrings and others. I still have a confusion, uh, confusion in this place. Please clear my doubt about this before I go home. Uh, I read yesterday. I read in Genesis chapter 12, verse 13. Not Genesis, Fitowa. Oh, Exodus. Exodus, uh -huh. Exodus chapter 12, verse 25, 25 and 36. Uh -huh. My understanding of this place is that when the children of Israel are living in uh, Egypt, the word of God said the women of Israel went to the women of Egypt. They learned a, a, a dress. And they learned these dresses from the uh, women of e Egyptians. They gained respect. Favor, favor. From, favor from God. So, if these things are, are things that God does not want, how can God give them favor if since these things are not good? In the of God? Can you give me the second one? 
aya da aka ba mu da zo a cikin fito a lisafi the 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 verse you gave us in the uh, in numbers numbers chapter number 31 verse 50 number 31 verse 50 aya ta she ai israila sun kwaso gane ma ne lokacin da suka je yayi these are these are butchers that the children of israel call daga cikin gane ma da suka debo sai suka debi wadannan kayaki suka kawo domin ai hadaya da shi a masujada they brought they brought these butchers to for sacrifice in the in the sanctuary kuma musa annabi ne Moses is the prophet. She Eliezer kuma she priest ne. Eliezer is the priest. Idan wadannan kayaki haramu ne yaya shi Annabi Musa da kuma shi priest za su karbi kayakin da ke haramu Allah bai nuna musu shi wadannan kayakin haramu ne kada ka kawo shi masujadansa ba. If this thing that the thing that God has condemned it. Sune abubuwan da nake so. Moses is the prophet and Eliezer is a priest. Why should they collect this thing from them from the women and then the at the sacrifice in the sanctuary wanda shine tambaya na gode this is my question I want to ask something what uh my question wa mun gode maka sosai kuna da dukan matakin geswa i respect uh, all the protocol okay mun ji ko zuwa mun ji dadi sosai we are happy with the teaching sunana so, reverend nema lamido bawon jesus My name is Reverend Nemuel Lamido the servant of God oh Jesus Farawa sura 24 aya 22 Genesis chapter 24 verse 22 Lokacin da Annab Ibrahim ya aiki bawan sa ya auro ma dan shi Isaku mata when uh, the man of God Abraham sent his servant to go and marry a wife for his son Say da ya ba da zobe ta sa hanci he gave this uh, rings and she put it in her nose idan zobe sanan banda wannan kuma muna yabi ubangiji da kide kide wanda da ana yin su ne a safe muna dauka ga ubangiji da a part of this uh, those uh, those things we praise god with in the drums that we bring in the church they As were used for to they were used for pressing adults but we have brought it in the church for pressing god ko da yake alumini suka yi idan mun yi addu'a a sai ba zai sarka ko ba even though they are done by the uh, pagan worshipers if we, ze, if we pray can they not can they not be holy idan ba zai sarka ko ba if they cannot be holy ya ke na allah ya ce duka masu zunubi su tuba a sai yan yan addu'a mutum da ya tuba ba zai sarka ko ba kenan ah god said everybody should repent if if uh, if this thing is being dedicated and what a god said is consecrated sorry sir na gode sir amen amen we are serving the god of understanding muna bautan allah da yake da fahimta God is not a piece of wood. Ita Allah ba ita she bane. He is not a body of senseless water. Ita she ba yana nan kaman ruwa da bai da hankali bane. He is a being with reasoning because we are made after his likeness. Allah shi Allah ne wanda muna nan a cikin kamanin sa. We sit down and take judgment over our children over our neighbors over some ignorant people over some days as we see god is the one that gave us the sense of judgment muna zama mu yi hukunci akan yayan mu akan mu da kuma wadansu mutanen da ba su fahimta komai ba muna hukunci ubangiji shine yake ba mu ilimi na hikima na hukunci and Jesus Christ God himself when he came did not come a full grown man on earth but followed the law of growth first in the stomach then out of the stomach then growing in stages after the the manner of a normal man Yesu da yake shi Allah ne da ya zo duniya a kamanin mutum bai zo kawai haka ba sai ya bi sahari na haifuwa an ya shiga haye ciki an haife shi yayi girma har ya kai masayi na fahimta na jin gome even when jesus 
was bringing his disciples up the bible showed ignorance in them even to the day of his leaving them he kept on rebuking them kept on teaching them kept on correcting them to the last day he le- to the last day he would be with them in the book of exodus chapter 6 Exodus, we want to read chapter 6. Fito wa sura shida. From verse 2. Ayat ebiu. And God spake unto Moses and said unto him, I am the Lord. Allah kuma yayi magana da Musa yeche nine ubangiji. I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. Nabaya na kaina ga Ibrahim, da Ishaku, da Yakubu, akan ni Allah mata waka kine, ama sunana nawa Yahweh. Bansana sheshi ba. They didn't know all about me, all about my ways. No. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I gave them syllables. And in the syllables, it didn't include knowing me as Jehovah. If it is like that, even in the normal sense of living, you don't give a child in primary one the everything that should be taught in primary school. Haka kuma bisa ga yanayin rayuwa ba za ka iya ba wa yaro dukkan abin da ake bukata kwara makaranta ba you teach them the main thing this portion at a time the, after this time this portion as a time after this time this portion as it at a time za koya masa kaida a hankali wannan bangare wannan lokaci wannan kuma wannan lokaci wannan kuma wannan lokaci if god says by my name jehovah i Abraham was not aware and Abraham also was not aware of way of earrings as being a dirty thing in the sight of God. Will you blame Abraham? Will you be blaming him because of some things which he did which he didn't know the mind of God about it? Idan Ibrahim shi a zamanin sa shi bai san sunan ubangiji Yahweh ba bai kuma san akwai zobe ba bai san akwai kuma abin kunne da abin wuya da sauran su ba are we going to go and copy example of the ignorance of Abraham about how he lied that Sarah was his uh, sister is it what you are going to be copying from when God said some things about me Abraham didn't know if you go to Abraham to be learning from him and if our women will go to Sarah over what he said give is your maid to your, to your husband since you cannot bear if it is these ones you want to go and copy righteousness you will not reach heaven that is one number two who gave the earring to Rebecca was it Abraham or Eliezer Ibrahim or Eliezer is there any account in scripture that shows that Abraham delivered the earring to Eliezer? Can you trace it in the Bible that it was Abraham that delivered earring to Eliezer to go and give the woman? Abraham 
If you ask Abraham and say, No, I wasn't the one, Eliezer made that decision of his own. Your stand has failed. I'm in the case of You were standing on a dangerous assumption. In the case of a woman, make you money. And it has failed. And unfortunately, it is failing on the last day after you have died on earth. You go to discover that it was not Abraham that gave that earring to, to Eliezer, but Eliezer did it on his own accord. Then, if it were Eliezer that gave the errand to Rebecca on his own accord, was God's covenant with Eliezer or with Abraham? Eliezer was just a servant that came from came with Abraham from idolatry. And the practice of these earrings and rings and all are attached to idolatry. When the Lord tell, told Jacob, go back to Bethel and where I met you, you at the face and sacrifice unto me there, he commanded earrings to be removed because they were attached to idolatry. Remove your idols, remove, change your cloth, and remove your earrings. And it shows that these things were attached to idolatry. Eliezer came with Abraham from idolatry. Who was Rebecca? Was She was an idol worshipper. Rebecca, Laban, and all the family were idol worshippers. They only had the knowledge of God and they were relations of Abraham. So giving earring to Rebecca didn't look strange because they were items of idolatry. Are you saying that we, our women are still in idol worship? That we should not allow them to be given air or you give them airing? Did you hear of any manner of jewelry associated with Rebecca when she came to the land of Covenant? When she came and got married to Isaac, did you hear again of jewelry or whatever? Did you hear? Or you want to kill yourself by the gospel of assumption? Those things have no place. Don't copy them, don't refer to them in Christian holiness. Now, Children of Israel collected earrings from the um, and jewelry from Egyptians uh, when they were leaving the place. In the book of Genesis, chapter 15, Genesis, chapter 15. Verse 18. To verse 14. Genesis chapter 15, 13 and 14. And he said unto Abraham, Know of a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them, and they shall afflict them. 
Tada baje zata kwa yi Bauta za akuma sananta Mata hara shikaru arba in And also that nation Whom they shall serve Will I judge And afterward They shall come out with great Are you with me there in that scripture? Great word Great substance Great world Ama zang hukunta Alume da suka bauta Wa da kabaya kuma the duke ya meyewa zata fita. So, you can see what the children of Israel had favor to collect was wealth. It was in jewelry, it was jewelry of gold, of silver. These were wealth. What a nang tago manshinda ya Israel wa suka sama wurin Allah shine azinari ya da kuma azulfada asuka ubangiti ya alka watamusu. Azgini. Because gold is malleable, it can be changed into various substances. What nang zinari aza ya gerashi asanja si ya gerashi ya want manufa da bandabom. You put it back into the fire, it can give you a buzzing. Za asa ashigin utaze ya baka daro. You put it back into the fire, it can give you a thing of decoration. You put it back into the fire, it can construct anything you want it to come out with. So, you preserve them, they are money. They are money. In the book of Job, chapter 42. Job, chapter 42. Chapter 42, verse 10, Aya Goma. downward. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Well, Abinda yake da shi ada then came there unto him all his friends um, all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him every man also gave him what a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold. One single, not two earrings. One earring of gold. Every man. She saw the duke of Wahala that Bangiji ya awata awakar masa. Ko wanensu ya bashi yang kudi da zobin zinaria. An earring, not two to put in one ear between the two. Zinaria guda dea ba dum ba guda bi asa wana kuna asa wana kuna. Show you that it's not for wearing. Anuna shewa ba dumi asa kuniwa. It's wealth for to be stored. Arzgine. It can be exchanged for anything. It can be it can be thrown into the fire and produced to anything. It has various uses it can be put into. The condemnation of this jewelry is on dressing, not on other matters. If, if your plate in the house is made of gold, you are not condemned. If you can tile this place with gold, you are not condemned. For God has given us all things to enjoy. But to fashion them to property of use, the Lord said, don't do that. It's dirty. It's idol worship. Now the Lord told the children of told Abraham, your children shall suffer in a land for 400 years. I will pay them for their labor. When they are coming out of that place, 
I will make the, I will spoil the land. They shall come out with great wealth. The he told them borrow of this collect this and collect this they will be giving you freely that is the salary of all the suffering you suffered in Egypt by building those pyramids of Egypt put them upon your children because your backs will not be able to carry those things when already you even you were is there any difference between you and the egyptians you have been wearing earrings all this while so it is when i take you to the wilderness i'll clear those things from you but put them the forbearance of god put them in your sons and in your daughters then when, when they came to the wilderness See, see how it went there. In the book of in Exodus chapter 33. I read verse 4 to verse 6. Exodus 33 verse 4 to verse 6. And when the people had these evil tidings, they mourned. And no man did put on him his ornaments. For the Lord had said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a stiff-necked people. I will come up unto thee in a, into the midst of thee in a moment, and consume thee. Therefore now, put off thy ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments, by the Mount Horeb. The Jamaa suka ji wana mungu labari se suka ji nadama ba wanda ya sa kayang adu gama ubangiji yashe wa Musa fadawa Israelawa kumuta nini masu taurin kai ina jitafia taareda ku nanda nan zang halaka ku dume hakafa yanzu kutu kutube kayang adu ku Dumi insan abinda zanyi daku. Dumi haka israelawa suka tube kayan adonsu. Tum daka dutin horab harzuwa gaba. Can you see it? See the house and arm. Munga abinda yabaya namana litame osa. Stripped it. They ended the use of it. Chile si. From that time, they ended the use of jewelry. That is where First Peter chapter three verse five says, "For after this manner did the holy women of old time adorn themselves. She they never the, used jewelry." When in the age of that, she came Beatrice. That far the sura oku ayat ha kusina yena kudenta irin yeda matan the suki azama nena nda suki sa kaya kisu. So you get it. Now they came when they came out here to the wilderness, and the Lord gave them commandment. Look, look, Included in the commandment is remove those things from your body. It's making you, you people are proud people, very stubborn people. Get those things out from your body. Let me know what to do with it. From that time, they never used it again. And in the commandment also is don't bow hold to, to your ears. Don't puncture your ears. A chicken dogo kinda wengiji Allah ya bare chi kada muhuda kunemu. If you are puncturing ear, puncture only one ear, and that person you are puncturing his ear or her ear is a slave that has decided to stay with you forever. Ida wote na zasu huda kunemu suseba i ne ba wa dapuka se ya gida suwe ne wande zasu sa wande kuni ba wande ya ba ya ba ya udewa. Are our women slaves? Matamu ba ine. Do we still practice slavery up to now? Where are we puncturing ears of children, puncturing ears of women? 
ba yaza muna huda kunnim ya matamu muna kuna huda kunnin ya'am and some men to have joined them now wadan su mazama sun sun shiga lai all slaves su ba ine no you are children not slaves amen amen secondly nabiu why did they collect those things from egypt don me suka kadi wannan kayaki daga masarawa the lord will require them from from them to build a tabernacle in the wilderness where he will dwell with them bangiji zai bukace su gina bagadi inda ubangiji zai zai zauna shine dalilin he told moses tell the children of israel that they should give you supply the materials to build the temple i mean the the, the tabernacle for I mean, in the wilderness where i can dwell among you Ubangiji Allah ya gaya wa Musa ku tattara wannan abun daga gare su domin zaka guna mini alfarawa ta sujada domin zan zauna a ciki they got that this earring which they collected from Egypt brought it for the work of the tabernacle sun kakabi wannan sun kawo shi domin a gina dakin alfarawa da shi if they had not collected this thing from Egypt they would have not got the gold the silver required in tabernacle construction inda ba su kai bi wannan zinariya da azurfa nan duka ba da ba za su samu abin da za su gina alfarwa ta ubangiji da shi ba the lord had forbidden them of the use of these things now dum ubangiji ya riga hana su wannan abun ruwa when jesus talk about the prodigal um, the, the prodigal son that came back home lokacin da yesu ya magana game ba ta shin dadin nan da ya kuma gida it might have been a real story ya zama tarihi labari ne na gaskiya na anhi jesus might have had that thing happen somewhere yesu ya ga wannan abun ya faru wani wuri So he told us that the father put a ring in the son's hand. Ya gaya mana cewa ban yaro nan fa ya dauki zobe ya sa hannu yaro. Many people thought that it was Jesus himself that put that ring in the son's hand. When is muta kuma suna gani kamar Yesu ne da kansa ya sa zobe na hannu yaro ne. Many people think that when Jesus said the father of the prodigal son they thought it is the heavenly father. When is and they was say ai ban yaro nan suna gani uban Allah ne na yaro nan. Gonsa It's a story. Labari ne. I was passing by and I saw a man with a bottle of alcohol drinking and greeting me. I greeted him too. You say if he didn't like alcohol, how did you greet him back? Is that the thing you say? Ina gushe wa sai na ga wani yana san dan kolban giyan sa sai ya gashe ni. Sai da ya gane shi in baya in baya baya shan giyan ma ba sai ya gashe ni. So people are saying if Jesus doesn't approve the ring where will he give a story that contains the ring So what is it that in the Jesus be the zobe na ma ya sa be ya yi labari da magana zobe You are looking for every way to hide yourself Muna neman hanyoyin da zai zamu samu huja Let's understand the scriptures and seek for righteousness Mu fayin shi litafi mai sarki mai kyau mu nemi adalcin Allah kuma I may God make you righteous Amen Ubangiji ya samu masu adali ne. May God give you the light. Ubangiji Allah ya ba mu hasken sa. The ring of marriage in your hand and idol there's no difference. Zobin aurin da yake hannunka da gumaka gunki ba da baban banshi. You are expecting that your wife should not commit adultery because she has the ring of marriage in her hand. Kana kana fa kana so ka sani cewa kada matanka ta yi zina domin akwai zubin hannu zubin aure a hannunta. You are expecting your husband to remain in marriage with you because of the ring in his hand. Kina tunani me gidan ke zauna cikin aure nan har abada saboda zubin da yake a hannunka. If he throws away the ring his marriage has finished. Marriage then ya ya da wannan zubin nan aurin ya kare ke. Which means it was not God actually that was killing. Ya nuna cewa ba Allah ne ya yi wannan aurin ba. It's not God you are trusting to keep your marriage partner from adultery. Ba Allah ne kana yarda da shi kana sa begin ka da shi su domin ya shiga aurin ka ba. You are trusting that a ring will do it. Kana sa tunanin ka kana ba da gaskiya cewa zubin nan ne zai za aurin ko ya dade. That ring then has become charm. Wannan zubin ma gadali ne. The charm of marriage. Gadalin aure that when it is in somebody's hand the person will not commit adultery yana hannu wani ba zai ba zai zina ba that's what you mean shine ma ana din raise up holy hands without those dirty idolatrous thing in your hand daga hannu mu ba tare da irin wannan abin gunki nan a hana yemu ba may the lord make you holy ubangiji ya samu sarakka ke mu let's rise up upon our feet
There's a book also, there's a book outside there, Divine Revelation and Scriptural uh, Exposition on Believers' Holiness in Clothing and Adornment. Get a copy. All these teachings will be clear for you. Give thanks to 